Paul Grisanti, and I go shopping every time you do. We always shop at Paul. It's true, every time we go up to Ralph's, uh, Paul and Sarah go with us, basically, even though they're on a trip right now. case may be the fog is still out but overcast days but it's getting prettier each time I go outside today I'm in the Fisker for the last day uh, I decided to take it back up to the Murphy Museum in Oxnard gonna be swapping it out for another car what's it gonna be let's look around see what looks good now if you've been to the Murphy you know they have quite a collection and if you haven't been to the Murphy what are you doing man don't try to hide from me I know where you are where did hey stop moving around how am I supposed to tell you what I'm doing when you keep moving? to the Murphy, took back the Fisker Karma and swapped it for this gorgeous 62 Caddy. I've had this car on the vlog before, but it's just too cool to keep away. So I'm gonna spend this week cruising around. spell it? S-P-E-L-L-M-A-N M-I-C-H-A-E-L. It's kind of an inside joke. Spelling Spellman. That's right. Spellman. Uh, yeah. Michael is here up in Malibu because uh, for a couple of reasons. One is that you're an actor and Malibu's the place to be. Right. It's who who doesn't like driving on some Malibu? <laughs> uh, and then you also have an incredibly cool car which is a 68 Mustang but not a normal one. Right. It's, uh, it's a bullet. I guess you'd say it's a replica. Replica? Yes. Bullet. Right. It's not the original because if it was, uh, you'd probably be at auction right now. Right. I get to drive this car though. Yeah. yeah this yeah. is a total driver. Yeah. Why, why this car for you? Why did you want to have the bullet Mustang as opposed to any other Mustang or any other car? Uh, well, long story short, I grew up in Detroit. Uh, my first car was a 66 Mustang. Mm -hmm. My dad and my brother worked for Chrysler, so they weren't too happy about me wanting a Ford. Yeah. But my dad was like, save your money. Whatever you come up with, I'll match. I bought a 66 coupe, but in the back of my head, I had always wanted a fastback. Yeah. How long you had it? Uh, I bought it in 2009. Wow, you had a long time. And it was just a, a stock Highland Green yeah. GT Deluxe Interior, yeah. and um, I was familiar with the movie Bullet. Did a commercial for Mustang. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I walked in the room for the callback. It was all the Ford execs and advertising agency, and uh, we started talking about the commercial. And they're like, Boy, how do you know so much about Mustangs? And I said, well, I have a 68 Mustang, I had a 66 Mustang. Mm -hmm. And they were like, 68 Mustang? Did you, is, did you drive it here? I'm like, yeah, it's a bullet replica. <laughs> the entire yep. room got up. We walked out past the other actors sitting there, and we spent some time in the parking lot and yeah. looked at the car. And I knew yeah, that. the moment that they I knew you had it. that car, yeah, of course. I, was like, I booked yeah. that job. Right, of course. <laughs> So, you know, being an actor, uh, you do a lot of commercials, yeah. right? And um, advice for those that, that come out from places like Kansas, North Dakota, <laughs> Florida, in uh, uh, your case, you came out from... Detroit. Detroit. Yes. Uh, you know, Detroit. this is the place to come where you, you want to get in the industry. What's some advice that you can give some young people that may be striving to do well? Uh, well, I'll, I'll give a piece of advice that was given to me by somebody. Don't go home. Don't go home. Don't go. Okay. Just write it out. And who was that that told you that? <laughs> uh, Gary Oldman. Yeah, Gary Oldman. Yeah. A perfect example of someone who didn't go home. Yeah, that was... Uh, Stuck it out. Wow, that was, yeah, just fresh off the boat from Detroit yeah. back in 2001. Yeah, I yeah. I had a, a chance meeting with him and I had asked him, what would you tell somebody that just moved here, you know, wanting to break into the industry? Yeah. Don't go home.
little loud. It's a little loud. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, but you also, you also have a story about the uh, the plates. Yeah, yeah, when I, all right, so I acquired the car in, uh, actually 2000, it was 2007, because in 2009, uh, I was able to get the plates from the movie. Right. The famous JJZ 109. That, that's a blow of mine that you got those plates. They were DMV clear. Nobody, wow. had, nobody had taken them. And uh, so I registered them to the car. Right. And that's when I thought, all right, so I should go the rest of the way, take the C-stripes off the sides. Yeah. Put the special mirror on there, the Yankee mirror. Right, and you said that, that people only come up and want to buy either the plates or the they mirror. They want to buy the mirror or they want to buy the plates.